this session basically is to provide an overview of SAP sales cycle end to end. So what we're going to do, like a lot of people want to understand that if we want to do sales cycle in SAP ESCO HANA, then how does it go, right? This is a very common question and very common curiosity. So I want you to do end-to-end -end sales cycle in SAP S4 HANA. Okay. So first and foremost, how do we log into SAP S4 HANA? So we log into SAP S4 HANA uh, in the same way as um, we log in into um, any other ECC or R3. So same concept applies. It's not um, anything which we need to do different. So if you go here, SCPS for HANA, if you click on it, and we log it. So it's the same method, same approach as we have been using all along. So if you want to log in to SAP S4 HANA, you can also log in through SAP GUI, and it is exactly the way we log in into SAP ECC. Now, if you see here, now we are in SAP um, S4 HANA. Now, if you see that, it looks very similar to what um, uh, ECC look like. If I want to see that, um, whether it is uh, uh, it's, it's a HANA or it's not HANA or what database it is. So you can check what kind of database it is. You can always go back. You can see that it is a Linux because Linux, uh, SAP S4 HANA only works on Linux. And then if you see that here, the HANA database is SAP HANA database. And uh, if you also see the product information, you can see product information here as well. So you will see a lot of different product components. And one of the product component you see this SAP S4 HANA Foundation. So this is different versions, and we are using SAP S4 HANA. This you can check in uh, S4 HANA. You can see this in you see also what is the database and all that. That can always be checked. So we closed. So now this is very very similar to what. So one of the things which I want to do create here in the myth is that when we do the transactions in SAP S4 HANA, they are not different than SAP ECC. They are similar. If you see the look and feel, it's similar. So if I go want to go to SAP SD, we click the logistics, we go to sales and distribution, we want to go to sales, we want to go to order, same SAP S4 HANA, and transaction code is also same, VA01. It's exactly similar, same way as we do in SAP. S4 HANA. If you see quotation, transaction code VA21, 22, 23, as we do in SAP ECC. If you do inquiry, same transaction code VA11, VA12, VA30. Same transaction code VA11, VA12. And this is our sales order, VA01. So that basically means when you're treating a sales order, we enter in the same way. We enter the order type as we always enter. So whatever is our order type, uh, and then we can enter that order type. Okay, so that is what it basically means. So you can enter order type. So here we have order type, and then we enter order type. We hit enter, and then we can enter the customer. Similar as we do in SAP ECC, same way we can use customer. We enter our material, enter our quantity, right? So it looks very similar to exactly similar. Means even if you just look at the front end, you will not even feel the difference whether you're looking at CC or whether you're looking at SAPS for HANA, screen, layout, transaction code is all the same. Okay. Customer master, the concept is BP. The customer master concept of XG01 has been replaced. Okay. Everything else is same. And uh, or if you see the same tabs, 
famous screens as we see all the time is all there so it's no more different it's a exactly same process uh, as has been followed so no difference uh, in the process etc so and then we can uh, save it So very similar process of entering sales order as we have been entering see the message in the bottom sales order 2820 has been created if i want to go back and check the sales order we can go back to the same v02 the same way we can enter sales order this is the sales order number 28202 sold to ship to customer all the screen everything is same uh, if you look at the header data uh, same tab which we always have we have the same bit if you see the line item data if you double click on it if you see line item tabs then we have a line item tabs and they look exactly same so nothing different and is exactly same the reason i'm doing this is because sometimes people feel that okay if you want to do these transaction in sap as for hana it as if it's going to look something very different no it is not going to look any different as for hana this is sales order in sap as bohana you might have done sales order in ecc they are same of course the table structure and all that behind the scene is different because database is hana database right? okay so we create a sales order now after creating sales order we go to the next step so next step is shipping and transportation as we always do that so we go to sales order in here now if you see the landscape one thing which is missing that uh, earlier we used to have in sales order uh, something called um, export process and import process so that has been made redundant that those processes and all that are not applicable any more okay so because that is part of gts now so you go back here single document we'll zero one n so same same transaction so the transaction code for creating delivery is the same vl01n so transaction codes in ecc transaction code and sap as ohana they are same exactly same some has been removed okay some transaction code has been removed like uh, customer mask x01 x02 they are not there but everything else is same same way we put a shipping point whatever our shipping point is and then we enter some selection date we hit enter and this is the screen for um this is the screen for creating delivery same way uh, we creating a delivery screen as we kept creating before same way we creating a screen for um delivery so this is my item my quantity everything get copied i go to picking tab same material um i see my plant my store location my quantity i can put my pink quantity so my pick quantity and after that i want to do post code issue we can do post code issue exactly same see the message in the bottom delivery 8000540 has been set so we are able to create a delivery document after creating the delivery document um if i want to create a billing document so so is the vf01 same vf01 as we've been doing all along and then here we have a billing document 8000540 hit enter this is my value item description and that we set it okay exactly same way see the message in the bottom document 9000199 created so this is the same transaction code we have 01 we have 02 we have 04 we have 11 all the same transaction code up here and uh, if i want to see uh, let's say document flow as we are very familiar with the document flow so we can go to display document flow this is the document flow and here this is the document flow now what do we see in document flow so in document flow we see sales order on this date time completed delivery on this date time completed picking this date time completed good issue date completed 
invoicing completed and system has posted an accounting document. But the bottom line is, the important point is, the entire sales cycle end to end, whether you do an ECC, whether you do an SAP Spana, transaction code, same. Look and feel, same. Everything is exactly same. Customer master is different, yeah? And um, the concept of XG01 has been taken away. So if you go to XG01, and if you click the XG01, you will get this message. Redirect, redirect, redirecting to um, transaction BP as transaction XG01 is obsolete. So XG01 transaction code is obsolete. So you have to go to BP. So there is another uh, video where I have explained how to use BP, so how to use business partner. So I have uh, already discussed about it, but I just wanted to give a quick preview of how SAP end-to-end uh, -end, um, cycle in the SAP look like. Okay. So thank you. Um, and that is what I wanted to discuss and talk. And with that, um, thank you very much. And um,